Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to talk about a very disturbing event, something called bullying. A few days ago, my son came to me and told me that he's been bullied at school. He was playing some sport and the other person who was losing became very angry and that anger called him a paki and other derogatory comments. He listened to all those comments. He finished up the game, winning that game, and then he went back and put a complaint. Later, he came back home and told me about what had happened. And I asked him, why did he not confront that person there and then? Bully is a coward. And when he's making such derogatory comments, you must come more strong at him. And one of the ways to do that is to discourage him there and then. Tell him these comments are not acceptable. I'm going to make a complaint against you. So you better be ready that there is going to be some harsh action coming for you to be answerable. But it also reflected on to me some of the incident which has happened to me in my professional life. So when I was an intern at uh, one of the hospitals in Pakistan, I was doing a particular rotation in neurology. There was one associate professor who was very harsh and he was not harsh just to me, but for everyone. He somewhat targeted me. He used to say derogatory comments about me during the ward round. He used to just completely nullify any of the suggestion that I'd make towards the diagnosis of the patient. And it really discouraged me and disheartened me. My learning process just completely came to an abrupt halt. I started to avoid him. I talked to some of my colleagues. They said, look, don't worry about it. He's like this to everyone. And you know, you just go on to a night shift. So instead of facing up the situation, I shift my duties from day duties, in which there was a lot of learning through ward rounds, through outpatient departments, to night shifts when I was just doing contingency work in the ward. Um, I did not learn much during that neurology rotation and it was done and dealt with in that way with me not speaking or not being able to complain anything. I was actually doing a rotation in the UK in orthopedic surgery and there was one consultant who just gave me this look that he's out to catch me. He used to question me about some very difficult situations uh, about the management plans which I'd always respond very confidently uh, he used to question the way how the operations are done, even though I was a very junior doctor at that time. It was as if he's trying to narrow and corner me down. And once he got that chance, when I went on leave, he did not like that. And now, as I was seeking a job in Australia, I put uh, him as my reference because he was my last consultant or supervising consultant. The reference that he provided was not good and the hospital in Australia contacted me saying that one of your references is actually very bad. Um, the two of the other references are completely good. Is there some other reference that we can seek? And I provided them with an alternate reference and I got the job, obviously. You know, I did not say anything at that time either. After that, I was actually on one of the secondment rotation from emergency in Australia doing a respiratory term. There was a respiratory consultant who was very rude. He was not just rude to me, but all the registrars and doctors from the subcontinent, particularly from India and Pakistan and other subcontinent countries. And he developed this particular complaint against me that I'm not answering my page. No matter how much or how many times I would tell him that it's not the truth, he would just completely target me. He would take me in his office, shout at me. And this time I was really upset. Um, I was going on my study leave for an exam. During my study leave, I got an email that you're not to continue with that respiratory job. I was very, very anxious and in fact depressed. I thought that I've actually lost the job and I'm not working now anymore. And I said, no, this time I'm not going to keep quiet. I want to meet him in person and I want the human resources manager to be there taking minutes so that when he puts a complaint, I can actually answer that complaint there and then and put that on record. That meeting was held. He did not accept his mistakes and I did not accept his allegations either. But even though sometimes I think about this incident, I feel very bad about it because it made me very anxious. What I should have done is actually confront him there and then that this behavior is not acceptable. So on that note, I would like to say that, look, whenever you faced with a challenging situation like that, please don't step back. Confront them 
there and then. Don't give them courage to breed on their anger and gain momentum on their anger. I would like to end this conversation and a piece of reflection on a beautiful poetry. Main aandhiyon ke paas talaash sabha mein hoon. Main aandhiyon ke paas talaash sabha mein hoon. Tum mujhse poochte ho mera hausla kya hai? Look after yourself and take a good care. Thank you.